Number 60. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressures if requested for each of the following reactions. And then we have this equation out of the bunch. In this case, we have to find out what the changes in pressure would be for Ni, for Ni solid plus 4 CO gas, which comes to equilibrium with NiCO4 gas. Okie dokie. So we have to start with what we're given. Now in this case, we have four carbon monoxides, and this was uh, going up by 4x. I know that it's going up because this value is a positive value. I like to keep the positives there if I can. So positive means that I am increasing by a, a factor of 4x, and this is a reactant. If this is increasing, what's going on with the other side? What's going on with the products? Well, if this is increasing, that means that the products have to be decreasing. Both sides can't be going up and both sides can't be going down. One goes up and the other one comes down. So I'm gonna signify that by a negative, right? So positive means increasing, negative means dropping. Now we just gotta figure out what goes here. Well, that comes from the coefficients. You see how there was a 4 in front of the CO, and there's no number in front of the NiCO4. That just means that there's 1. Now, over here, we increased by 4x, right? Because the 4 is the 4 in the x value. Let's see, what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to drop by 1x. But remember, 1x is just the same as an x value. So I can just say I'm minusing by x. Now I got to figure out what that actual volume, or not volume, value is. But they told us that 4x, a collective of 4x equals 0 0.40 atm. But this is not going to equal the uh, change in, con in pressure because it's not minus 4x. So let's figure this out. If 4x equaled 0 0.40, right? 4x equals this number. I can figure out what x is by just dividing by 4. And x equals 0 0.10. So this would basically be dropping by just an x value, and they told us what that was, or we just figured it out, minus 0 0.10 atm. And that's it. So this would be increasing by 0 0.40 atm. This would be decreasing by 0.1 atm. Notice how we don't know the initial and the equilibrium concentrations. We just know what it's changing by. Also take note that we did not care about the nickel because this was a solid. Remember, solids and liquids don't go in the K expression. So therefore, we don't care about what's going on here. And just know, remember, that the, the concentration of any solid or liquid will not change. The only thing that's changing with nickel is the mass. So since there's no change in concentration, you can't put anything in here. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Thank you. And see you later. Bye-bye.